Good morning YouTube, I'm Chucky2009 and I'm really happy to be making you guys this video because this is a project I've wanted to do literally since about 2009 or so and I'm just now scraping up the money and the time and the resources to put together. So uh, we're going to be building a big flatbed trailer basically. Uh, this thing's going to be 20 feet long, not counting tongue, and it's going to be 8 feet wide. It's going to have two axles, it's going to have brakes, and uh, hopefully it's going to be somewhat awesome. YouTube. So uh, today we'll be upgrading the axles underneath my 20 foot flatbed utility trailer from the stock 3,500 pounders to the mighty 7,000 pound axles. And we'll also be transitioning from having only one braking axle to two of them. And as you can see, there is no comparison between the quality and the size and the durability of the components here. The axles themselves are twice as strong. The wheels are larger and they have 14 ply tires instead of the uh, approximately six ply of the originals. <laughs>
right, so first things first, we'll see if we can stop the truck just with the trailer brake. So I got my foot off the, uh, the thing. Ah, look at that. We just came to a complete stop. Right. Just using the trailer brakes. That's really cool. And I'll let off and here we go. Starting. Look at that. Oh, look at that. It's staying right back there. All right, I was majorly concerned, obviously, because, uh, you know, if we put an axle in and inch out of position or something, it's going to pull horribly and whatnot, but it's pulling flawlessly and it's every bit as smooth as it was before. That way. All right, I got you, man. All right, sweet. Good job. Yeah, all right. There's the trailer wheels. I'm gonna hop off. I like it. Looked like we were a little bit closer to bottoming out there than I wanted to be, but we made it. Oh, that's awesome, man. Yeah, when I designed this trailer, I wanted it to be able to fit my largest vehicle, which was either this thing or that. I think if I remember right, this truck's like six inches longer, the wheels are than that one. All right. up here someone asked me in the comments once if I was trying to keep someone from stealing the trailer or the foam pole I thought that was kind of funny all right got this ginormous Avis lock here really like this thing Great. we're taking
taking this exit and we're going in the back way here YouTube because we have construction everywhere here which is dicking this up and there's uh, and there is a car wreck up here as well at least according to the GPS so we're taking the side streets stuff like what they're doing but it actually is fairly secure I've done it before not recommended though it's a little high on the sketchiness factor and like I said I really don't like doing it oh that was going on the semi for about the first time, at least on the highway since we started this trip, and everything is buttery smooth right now. As cliche as it sounds, I really can't even tell that trailer's back there. And uh, it's just, it's following me perfectly. Really couldn't ask for anything to be going any better than this. So, yeah, definitely pretty thrilled. I really like this trailer, I really like having it, and I'm very glad that I built this thing. Uh, I don't use it every day, but every single day I do, I'm like, oh, this is a really, this is a good quality trailer. And you know, not to talk myself up, but I spent a lot of money on those axles and a really heavy steel frame and and uh, like an industrial coupler and everything for it. So, I, you know, I really tried to build this thing to the best of my ability and, ha and have it last for ideally generations. And it seems to be doing that. I mean, that's that toes, I don't think, it's really hard to remember, I'll put it that way because I pulled a bunch of stuff, it's really hard to remember pulling a trailer that tows this smoothly and this uh, this effortlessly. I mean, it's just right back there, it follows me through turns, um, no sway, no nothing. It's uh, it's very heavy, it's very smooth, and it's, it's built like a tank. You know, this is the kind of thing I built it for, mainly hauling large lengths of steel like this. And, uh, you know, it's nice to also have the ability now to haul bulky stuff, to haul vehicles, to haul my tractor around, um, really just about anything. And since, you know, a little life lesson, when you don't cheap out on things and you really put 100% into a project like that, it's just done. And aside from a little maintenance, you know, I'll have to replace some lights. I'm sure some lights will stop working or something over time. Aside from a little maintenance type stuff, really just not that much to worry about. It's just there. It's always ready to go. Um, and, uh, yeah, really couldn't ask for anything more. So... Yeah, we're, we're getting there. I'm going kind of slow because we have those flats, the uh, sheet metal there. And I, I don't want to go too crazy fast with that, but we're kind of old man in at home. And after a while, we should be there. And then I guess we have to get the stuff sorted and start cutting up at least some of it. So, cheers. Uh, you got a, I mean, you got a good bit. You can go over this if you want with the back lip of it. Uh, yeah, this is good. Nobody hit anything. Okay. You got a bit, good bit of ways you can go. A little bit. All right, that's about it.
because this was starting to get a little loose. It's a fair amount of steel, YouTube. There's quite a few videos in this. I hope you guys are ready to watch them. All right, so we made it here. Uh, yeah, trailer worked great, no issues. Really can't complain. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching the video. As always, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more. We're gonna get this chained up, get the truck unhooked, and that's all for now.